You know, it's quite interesting because speculation was that the player program today, oh, that's a great start to this video, connection lost, but the speculation, am I not gonna be able to get on all of a sudden? I was playing five seconds ago. So we're back, a couple hours has passed, but we're finally back on the game. 93 contact right for Ronald Acuna Jr. I don't know where I last was, but I was talking about how Hank Aaron, I think everyone thought would be the program reward, but it ended up being Ronald Acuna Jr. People were asking me on Twitter when I tweeted this out not too long ago. Twitter.com slash Bangle YouTube. Link is in the description as always. But I think everyone thought this was going to be Hank Aaron for 7-15, July 15th. Hank Aaron set the record for home runs at one point in time at 715. Later, we'd get to 755. And then Barry Bonds would break that by eating a balanced breakfast every morning. But this Acuna card ended up coming out, which I think is pretty awesome because... Acuna, unfortunately, one of the brightest young stars in baseball, tore his ACL, out for the season. And it's like, when is he going to have the opportunity to get a great card? And they give him this. So it was awesome to see. 93 contact right, 105 left, 115 power right, 116 power left. And we know how good Ronald Acuna's swing is this year. If you guys watched the videos earlier in the year in ranked seasons, I'll still upload it on the channel, of course, if you guys want to check those out. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Make sure to scroll down. Make sure you're subscribed. But it was Ronald Acuna and Jose Ramirez. It was, did they play? Yes. Did they homer? Yes. It was always yes to both of those questions. They were the lifeblood of the team, and now Ronald Acuna Jr. makes his way back into the lineup. The defense, not amazing, but pretty good. 82 fielding, 82 reaction is serviceable out in the outfield, especially with 94 speed. So he's going to play up above those numbers. And 96 arm, he's got a cannon. 70 ceiling, 80 base runner aggressiveness. Acuna should play very, very well. We're hitting him second in our lineup, of course. We still have Vlad Guerrero Jr. We're going to have Schwarber behind the plate, El Bombi in left field. A couple super fractured guys in Soriano, Tatis, and Chipper. And Mike Trout, of course, on his way. Very, very close to getting that super fractured, but Acuna is going to be in the two hole. Let's go ahead and pop into ranked seasons here. First game of the day. Let's see if we can get a win. We are facing Garrett Crochet. So we're, we're going to be ready for 100 and whatever that he's throwing. 102 with Outlier. This game might not be fun. So this is actually a time where Ronald Acuna Jr. should be juiced up. Killer against lefties, but the same can be said against Ronald Acu or Fernando Tatis Jr. the other way. Really doesn't hit lefties too well. He's going to stay in the game for me, though. I love Tatis Jr. too much to take him out of the lineup. And he's actually going to rip that one. Please don't be a line out. It's not going to be over the head of left fielder. And we are starting off hot with a big Fernando Tatis Jr. double to bring up the player of the video, Ronald Acuna Jr. Ooh, that slider had some weird movement. I read fastball out of the hand and then didn't ever get back. And Acuna going to slap that one to the second baseman, getting down the line, and he's out. Wow, a lot to start this game. There's been a lot of action. But Xander Bongaunt ended up making that play. And he tries to slide step and get Vladito out. It's not going to work. Vlad Jr. drives in the run. And we are up 1-0. Not a terrible start to the game. Would obviously like a few more runs. But it could be worse. Oh, wow. Okay, I got I to gotta hit this game. I got to hit. Also, I just realized the webcam colors were really screwed up for me. So we fixed that early enough in the video. I don't know what was going on. I looked over and all the colors were washed out. It was super bright. We have Outlighter on the mound. I hate his scoreboards. I hate this stadium, honestly. Uh, one of the least favorite stadiums I've played in this year, just by appearance. Now, I'm not saying my created stadium is much better. I'm sure some people will like this and some people will hate mine if you end up seeing that again at any time. But this one, ugh, no thank you. It's gonna be a base hit though. My biggest pet peeve pitching in this year is when I get guys 0-2 and then I allow a base hit on the third pitch of the at-bat. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. And strike three. Oh, he's going for second, actually. And of course, it doesn't let me throw to second base. <laughs> Even with the throw cancel, that's great. Well, it doesn't matter. As long as we pitch and get Schwarber out lefty-lefty, which I think is extremely doable, we should be good here. And that's going to be shallow center pop up to Trout, who covers the ground and is there. I worry about him a little bit defensively, 
But I like Adolis Garcia in left field. I like Mike Trout. And we're going to head to game number two. And we are facing 99 Jacob deGrom. Okay. I am home at least. Here is my creative stadium I talked about. It's not the prettiest in the world, but it is a decent looking park. Now, I think there's a good chance that the ball flies at this park. So we're going to have to really be on my game pitching. And getting Mike Trout out to start is pretty good. But Jacob deGrom, I have not faced his 99. I don't want to face his 99. I'm not excited to face his 99. But today, we're going to face his 99. Cunha makes a decent play out there in right field. Got a little bit worried for a second, but tracked it in. All right. This is not going to be good. That's not a good start. Look how small my PCI is. Even righty righty. Tati says 100 contacts. Oh, this is going to suck. Don't rip that one, foul. How early am I on 102? I squared it up. I had a really good piece of hitting on that. Let me actually get this plug back in. I got it working enough early. I am all over that pitch, though, at least. So we know we are capable of squaring it up. But can I really play with any type of approach to sit back at all? Seems dangerous. Nope. Should have sat back very early on the changeup. Read it as a fastball, and it just kind of ducked right underneath. But I think I think I might be able to handle DeGrom. Might take me a little bit, but I don't hate the first at bat. I was just a little bit early on stuff. Here's Ronald Acuna, though. Well, that's just not a good start. And he got me with the changeup. And Chipper gets our first hit of the game off DeGrom. Didn't get my PCI all the way over to it, but the timing was exceptional. So I will take that. I just need to focus on that changeup righty-righty. It's clearly going to be his go-to pitch down and in because I'm geared up for the fastball. So fastball away, changeup down and in, slider away. We got to be ready for these things. There's a slider. And he beats me with the slide step fastball. Is that everyone's go-to? Just slide step fastball? If you need an out? Chase it out of the zone. All right. Whatever it takes to get an out, I guess. I can appreciate it. Showed him the knuckle curve for the first time. And he is going to strike out. So we also have to be aware that next inning, DeGrom's going to hit 7, 8, 9. No home runs to the 8 hitter. So I'm actually okay working around the 7 and 8 hitter. Because, I mean, DeGrom's pretty good at hitting for a pitcher. Lefty, lefty. It's not going to be quite so good. DeGrom is a lefty bat. There's the changeup. Stayed right on it a little bit early, but Kyle Schwarber's going to hit that to the right center field gap. Center fielder. Looks like Alfonso Soriano going to get that one in, but Schwarber into second with a double. Great way to start the inning. We've got some really good hitters coming out. Mike Trout. Adolis Garcia. Others probably after that. I don't remember. Stayed on the changeup. He's going to start throwing the fastball more. The more that I show, I can adapt to the changeup. Hold that foul. Fastball. Fastball. Get on it. There, I, I can know what pitch is coming and I still can't hit it because I am i didn't stay to my approach and get the PCI down. You're like, oh, well, why do you hold the PCI down? You can't hit high fastballs. I hit high fastballs all the time. I'm just uh, in between right now, trying to account for the off-speed stuff as I chase a slider on the black. No run so far. This is tough. It's a tough time facing 99 to ground with outlier. But getting up to the high fastball, I can assure you, is not the problem. It's just that I'm I'm thinking too off-speed now. Let's try to get on the board, man. This controller. I have a new USB-C coming in the mail, but I'm gonna I'm gonna lose the game from my pause time running out because this USB-C they change the freaking cord every year. Only have one of these things. Controller's flashing. How about we connect? Three and O oh to Cliff Lee. What are you doing? I might just start having to take a bunch of pitches. He just had a four-pitch walk to Cliff Lee. He's going to be mad. He's going to come in the zone with a fastball. We're going to hit it out. I, I, I know what pitch is coming, and I'm, I'm pulling down. It's terrible. Got me with the slider. It's such a sick pitch, man. It's so nasty coming in at 93 because it's so hard. You think fastball, and then it isn't. Threw another slider to Chipper. That's the exact same pitch I got a hit on earlier. Runners on first and second, two away, 
stay down and work back up. It's working. I just got to keep doing it. I mean, you got to know the slider's coming here. Through the changeup and Vlad Jr. Hits it out. Three run home run. We're on the board first. Vladito scoops up a changeup. And we are up by three. That's a huge hit. We needed it so badly. We needed it so bad. And that one is a hanging slider that Schwarber rips to the gap again. Second time finding the right center field gap. And that is another double for Schwarber. First one was leadoff. This one with two outs here. And we're going to try to get a two-out rally going. Mike Trout at the plate. Big time bopper. It's just such a good pitch to hit. And I, I can't time it up. 3-2. Pretty good AB here. And there's the fastball. I have no problem getting up to it. Like, that's a fastball up and away, and I start down and in. Getting up to the fastball is not a problem for me at all. I'm early on that pitch. I need to slow the bat down. And he's quit as well. All right. No one seems to want to play today. Big plus 39 on that. He was rated pretty highly. I kind of had no choice but to throw 99 Freddy Peralta for this one. As we're facing Garrett Crochet again. This guy's got a very good team, as we're prone to seeing at this stage in the game. But uh, we got to play well here. I didn't want to throw Freddy Peralta. I wanted him to have his own video. And you know what? He'll still probably get his own video. It's possible where he's like the feature focus player. But I just have no other arms. I want DeGrom to have his own video. Freddy Peralta's got a pitch. Tried to dot me up with the fastball. This guy's very slow to the plate, which is okay. I'm all over that fastball. Just a little late. Got to watch out for that slider. Seen it a couple times now as Acuna is going to be up next. <laughs> Tatis rips it into center field. Got to gotta know where I am in the order. Here's Acuna hitting zero for me right now. Not that good. Could be better. Dude tries to slide step. Dude, everyone's trying to burn me with this slide step today. I'm all over it just very early. <laughs> Maybe you have to slow the bat down as Acuna is going to ground out into a double play. Uh, not the best debut for him so far, that's for sure. Stayed on the slider, and that's going to be a perfect, perfect line out right at Trey Turner. What an inning. That was a blast. I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. We got to get him to bite on the slider, man. I think it's 99 break. What are we doing out here? What a stone cold take. So does that mean that sinkers on the black are going to eat all day? Oh, he's swinging at it. I am confused. So what does this guy swing at? We need one here. Yeah, we never, we're never going to get two. With the double 99 speed, there was no shot. Now, there's a shot here. We definitely could turn to. We need to get that in more. He's going to steal with Trey. Big time throw from Schwarber. Not in time. That's where the arm really comes back to hurt you. Because otherwise, I think we probably have him. There it is. See, that's what I was talking about. We just need to throw the pitch for a strike. And if he wants to stay back, great. But he's not going to be able to. Oh, Schwarber, lefty, lefty crime. Get up, ball. Get up, get up, and get out. It's off the top of the wall. Schwarber is a doubles machine in this video. His third one, this one comes off a lefty. He really just works slider and then fastball. It's going to be a slider to start the at-bat, and then we can pretty much expect a fastball. Ooh, he mixed it up this time. So does this mean we expect a slider now? Is that how this works? I've got the fastball. Oh, there's only one out. I, I just tried to send Schwarber. Just underneath that, by the way. I have to stop moving my PCI up before I'm ready. Because I go up, and then I go back down, and then I pull down, which is bad. So I just need to stay down and work up. I can snap up easy, but I'm late on that one. Cheat him, cheat him. I suck right now. I mean, not really, but I've, I've taken some bad swings for sure. But for a guy that walks like everybody, nice hit. Ugh, very late jam. But for a guy that walks everybody in real life, Freddy Peralta is remarkably easy to control. Actually, it wasn't very late. It was only late. My bad. My bad on that one. God, he's just taking that all day. I think he honestly decides before the pitch whether he's going to swing or not. Because some of these swings are so terrible. And some of them are, like, he takes amazing pitches on the black. I don't get it. 
I think he's just going up there, flipping a coin. And if it lands heads, he's swinging. Tails, he's just going to take it no matter what. And he hit it out. The sinker's just so flat. It's interesting because... I'm saying, like, if Freddy Peralta is going to be effective, he has to have the sinker. They give him the sinker, but it has no break, so it's so flat. It's just like throwing a super slow fastball with no movement. It's uh, not good. Not good. Yeah, Freddy Peralta might be terrible. I know it's only the first run, but, like, this guy's not really the best. And that's going to be a ground ball out to end the inning. Yeah, he's just... He's just deciding before the uh, at bat whether to swing or not. Like, lefty against Freddy Peralta, he's not chasing the slider. Whether it's on the black or wherever, he's just not swinging at the slider. But here's Acuna, guy of the video. I better find it at the plate. I better find it. Thank you, I'm finally taking that pitch. We can almost expect the fastball back. Will I be able to hit it? Yes, Ronald Acuna rips that into left center. Oh my god, Nick Castellanos tracks it down? Wrong side of perfect is why that's an out. That sucks. Just underneath it. I mean, it's going to be the fastball. He's trying to dot it up low and away, maybe, if I had to guess. Wasn't the fastball, but I stayed back on it. Was that the slider or the change? It was a slider. I thought so. I'll take the perfect perfect, but it's lefty-lefty with Schwarber. It's not a great matchup for me. But perfect, perfect, and it's another perfect, perfect out. We are having a blast. <laughs> Come on, man. He was out number three, threw a really weird change up, or slider, excuse me, up and away, just to see what would happen. <laughs> Oftentimes I get crushed when I do that, but I just wanted to see. And uh, probably won't be doing that again. Oh, there it is, Mike Trout. Got in that fastball. Wrong side of perfect, but Trout's one of those rare guys in this game that can actually drive that pitch out. We're going to tie things up. Might I say about time. I think I have three perfect, perfect outs this game. Maybe it's two. I think it's three, though. Late on that one. I can't believe it. Oh, they're going to give me a hit, and he dives. Is that Matt Olson? Why is Matt Olson in right field? He's got 30 speed. I know his reaction and fielding's good. But that's not enough to put him in right field. Freddy Peralta's in here. Big time triple from Adolis Garcia. El Bombi. Do I hit with Freddy Peralta here? I don't... I don't think so. That's gonna get through. Hey, there we go, Salvi. Whether it was a hit or not, it was gonna score the run. Big time single from Salvador Perez. Not even one of my better swings of the game, to be honest. The slider's off the plate. But it does the job. Just don't want to ground out into a double play with Tatis. I want Acuna to come up against the lefty. Let's try to be a little patient, unless we get a meatball. I, I got a pitch I wanted to hit. I mean, sinker straight down. You can pull down on that. Again, not one of my better swings of the game, but we'll take a single. Runners on first and second. Ronald Acuna, no hits for me so far, but he crushes lefties. Start out with a slider. If it hangs in the zone, I'll bang it. Probably should just take it though. He threw a fastball. I mean, that's the last pitch I expected. 3-2. It's a big spot, man. I usually do pretty well with the player of the video. Oh, what a sinker. I mean, that thing's sharp. Almost broke back for a strike. A little early on it. I, kn I knew it was coming. He might walk me. Yeah, he does. Ball four. Base is juiced. Still can't do anything with Acuna. But a walk is better than an out. By a lot, actually. Base is loaded for Chipper. Chip the Ripper. Larry Jones is going to bring in Dennis Eckersley. So, someone that throws a lot slower. We're going to have time. Let's just not get ahead of ourselves. Take each pitch. And let's see where we go from there. Yeah. No, no ground ball double plays. Not here. I'll let you walk me in. It's 3-0. I had to green light him. Chip the Ripper. I had to green light him on a hanging curveball. Grand slam. Chipper with a big time home run. We've blown the game wide open. That was massive. I had to swing. He's going to leave. It was fun playing you. But I'm not doing a fourth game for the video. Acuna is going to stay in the team, but wow. 
He did not perform very well in this video. I know it's my fault more than anything else, right? But, uh, I mean, we squared up every pitch. Eventually, we'd probably get rewarded. But 0 for 5 with a walk is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. We'll get it figured out, though. I think Acuna is going to be awesome. He's a really, really, really good outfield option. But that's going to do it for me. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Say I hit it at the park, Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.